Hello and welcome everyone. Um, I'll be uh, trying to explain a recent code forces round problem. Um, a problem called index and maximum value. Now I'm not going to dive deeper into the statements of the problems. Rather I'm going to explain it in here. What we're going to have to do. Basically you are going to take an array of n values. Uh, there will be a couple of uh, there will be a number of test cases for each and every test case you're going to have to answer something. But you're going to take by starting an array of n values. You're also going to have to answer each and uh, you're going you're gonna to then after that you're going to have to answer m queries. What are these queries? These queries are going to ask you some questions and based on that you will have to reform the original array that you had initially. And what you have to do is output the maximum number of the array uh, in that situation. So uh, it's pretty. It uh, so it's gonna. After each and every query, the array can actually change, uh, and according to that, you have to output the maximum number of the array. Now the big question is, what does the query want me to find out? Uh, the query wants me to find out uh, there will be uh, a character and two values, L and R. Now that character is going to be either plus or minus, meaning that you have to add one value or you have to, if it's, if it's minus, you have to, you know, deduct or subtract uh, one value, only one value, okay? So now what is this L and R? This is actually the range. Uh, if let's say L is um, okay, whatever the uh, L and R is basically the range. What this may, means is that from the current array that you're going to have in that situation, whatever number there is, if that number lies in between these two ranges between L and R, greater than or equal to L. If that number is less than or equal to R, then uh, what you would do is simply operation based on the character that you're going to have. If it's plus, you're going to add those values, whatever number there is. It doesn't matter how many numbers. If it does lie in between the range L and R, you are just going to um, add it. If it's if it's subtract, then you're gonna subtract one value from each of each and every one of those members. Uh, that's basically the whole question. So uh, you're gonna have to find out the maximum uh, value of the current array after applying the operations each and every time. Now, the how are you gonna solve this problem? Well, in order to approach to the solution, I will first say that what exactly I did. And then I'm, I'm going to claim it that I did this and why and I'm going to try to try to explain exactly why I think that this is the uh, exact solution that's going to lead me to the right answer. Now the thing that I'm going to claim now is that as I have to output the maximum number, initially when I take the array as an input, I will take uh, the maximum out of all the values that I am actually taking. So, for example, this array, what am I going to do is I'm going to take the maximum out of the initial array. At the very beginning, before applying any sorts of uh, um, query operation. So, for example, uh, uh, for this case, this array, I'm going to have the value 9 as my maximum, right? And what am I going to do simply is very simple, straightforward. What am I going to do? Simply take the query. What does the query want? The query wants me to, to update. For example, uh, let's say L is 4 and R is 7. Okay, let's take, uh, okay, yeah, 4 and 7. Now, the, the operation wants me to update date the values if there are any value exists from 4 till 7 let's say I'm giving I am given plus operation so I'm gonna update all of these numbers to plus 1 if, if it does exist so 
I'm uh, I am I'm supposed to do something like that okay F for four okay I've got five six seven I'm gonna just add one to them but if I do these brute force way it's it's uh, it's gonna be giving me time to get exceeded exceeded I'm not gonna do that because I don't need to do that what I'm gonna claim now is that I don't care what happens to these numbers I only care what happens to the maximum value that I took initially that's what I care nothing else so what am I gonna do instead of updating all of those values that lie in the range I will look for the value which is the maximum value if that maximum value the current maximum value does lie in between the range that I am going to do some operations no it does not as you can see it does not apply that so I'm not gonna do that this I'm, I'm just gonna output okay for, for now for this case even after applying operations I won't uh, I will still have my maximum as 9 what if that number was let's say 8 and 9 this range now you know that okay this range does the maximum value does lie in these between ranges you're gonna uh, increase your maximum if it's of course plus if it would have been minus uh, what if it would have been minus you would just decrease it the decrease the maximum so a court you are gonna do the same thing as you were supposed to do uh, in terms of applying the operations for those ranges rather uh, for all the numbers what you're gonna do simply for do that for the maximum you will check whether the maximum number lies in between the range and whatever operation that I'm asked to perform I'm simply gonna do that if my maximum number lies in between L and R and if I'm asked to plus then I'm gonna simply add uh, the maximum number if I'm asked to subtract that number uh, subtract the, uh, uh, that particular range I'm simply going to subtract only the maximum. Now, the big question is why I'm talking about the maximum and why I only consider the maximum value and not the other numbers. First of all, I'm going to have to output the maximum. Now, you might say, uh, but uh, you might say something like that. Okay, uh, why I'm talking about only the initial maximum? It might get changed you might have any doubts something like that okay what if I what if I always what if I have uh, so many queries of three to five then isn't there any chance that these numbers will get added and and then these numbers will get you know extended by uh, even over over nine over the maximum value you might you might have this type of thought but it's actually not true when you draw uh, draw some examples for example you might say okay what if I apply uh, from 5 to 5 to 8 what if I'm given a query from 5 to 8 okay uh, and so many queries of these numbers you might say oh um, uh, it might lead to um, uh, crossing the maximum number you might uh, it, it might have some uh, d doubts but it's actually not because the ranges are always the same once you apply those uh, operations what happens is these five to eight these numbers gets changed this number gets six and this becomes seven this becomes eight and this becomes nine now after you apply the same operation from five till eight do you see what what are the ranges that are available now only seven and eight I'm not even getting close to nine um, then if you apply again what what happens this seven becomes eight this eight becomes nine and then five to eight you're you're talking about uh, applying an operation again from five to eight do you see if there is any 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 uh, uh, I mean at one point you will never the, the general conclusion is that you are never gonna cross the maximum value no matter how many same number of ranges addition or subtractive operations that you perform because what happens eventually is once you add let's say these are the numbers that are added 
that once you apply the operation, what happens? The, the, the range gets shifted from here. These numbers uh, gets shifted from here to here. So this 3 becomes 4. This 3 is not 3 anymore. You, don't ha you won't have any 3 then. Uh, so, um, and uh, uh, after uh, so many same t type of operations, you will see that your range is also the numbers also get uh, the number uh, the number count options they also get uh, shrink down uh, it's the same case if you if you do subtractive operations um, for example let's say okay let's just delete everything now um, two three four five now you might say uh, as you know, I've got maximum this. Now you might say, "Oh, I will, I will apply uh, minimum minus to these ranges." Well, what happens? This becomes two. This becomes three, and this becomes four. Now, as you know, that as the maximum values inside these ranges initially, so you would also decrease the maximum value. So definitely, the maximum value also decreases to one. Uh, but if it's not in the range, you won't do anything to the maximum value. So the the general concern is that only you are gonna think about the maximum value. You change according uh, to the given operation only to the maximum value. You don't have to change to the entire array because that it does not matter if you change it or not. Uh, because after each and every change, the the um, the range of those numbers. Uh, gets shortened uh, if you do apply that same uh, range again and again and again. What I mean by if the L and R are always the same, let's say this is L1, R1, if you have another operations of L1, R1, doesn't matter. Uh, the more you do it, the more the ranges is going to shrink down because the values are actually increasing, but the ranges is the same. If that sort of query that you plan to apply, if you think that you can cross the maximum, you cannot cross the maximum. The maximum is the maximum. If there is any change, that maximum is it does belong to some range. You would apply that operation to that maximum, but that would still be the maximum. So that's uh, that's like the uh, the, uh, the, the the final solution. Uh, if I do talk about the let's say code section it's pretty straightforward you're gonna take the maximum you're gonna take the range if if it's if it's if that according to the operation plus or minus if that range is in between uh, if maximum is in between those ranges you're gonna you're gonna add it if it's not you're gonna uh, you won't add it because the maximum would be still remaining the same finally you're gonna output the answer that's that's all it's all from uh, the solution point of view. Yeah, thank you very much for watching.